Hello Valiants, welcome back to Vibrant Authentic Living. This is Nandi. Today we're going to be looking at the jelly coconuts. Oh, this is so heavy. Oh. <laughs> wow. You know I live on a tropical island, right? The coconut palm has come to kind of represent the tropical island life you know when you're watching whether it's cartoons or a movie or you're looking at some picture in a magazine or whatever that island out in the sea with that lone coconut palm jutting out representing natural living island living, tropical living. Well, here we have the coconut. This is a young coconut, um, which we call the jelly coconut. Not to be confused with its older sibling, the dry coconut. And if you want to find out about the dry coconut, I have a video that I did just on that. So, the young or green jelly coconut, which I'm holding in my hand, is full of coconut water. It's so heavy. And this is water that has been filtered, purified by nature over months. This is about seven months. This coconut has been um, growing for five to seven months the dried coconut would be an addition maybe an additional four or five months from this stage right so during that time the water is gradually filtered up up the tubes into the fruit and it is stored there um, for the most part hermetically sealed sterile and from my research over the years because coconut is one of my favorite fruits I have done quite a bit of research on it and I have found several sources that have said that the coconut water is so sterile and it is so similar to the composition of human plasma that the coconut water straight from the young coconut has been used and can be used to replace the plasma in a blood transfusion. You can go and research and do your own digging where that is concerned. I've read that this was done in World War I, World War II and other periods where in an emergency someone needed a transfusion and the coconut water was all they had, it was used successfully. From my research, that's what I found. So this is one of the superfoods and the coconut in several cultures is one of those trees, plants that have been referred to as the tree of life because just about every part of the coconut tree is useful from the bark to the leaves to the, the nut the fruit where well, it's actually not a nut it's a fruit specifically a droop it's called a nut coconut but it's actually not a nut right so the bark is used in construction and in making furniture the leaves are used to make thatch for houses, for roofs. The, um, the fruit itself, the, the, the dried coconut, the shell is used in jewelry and making or ornaments. And the nutritional value of the fruit is top of the line top of the line, it's a top of the line fruit. 
So let's start with the water, the coconut water, because if you're going for the young jelly coconut, more than likely the water is your goal. So the coconut water is filtered slowly, gradually filtered and purified by nature. Unless you, you see where there has been some um, defect, something has, has penetrated the fruit itself and you can see it's, it's really tough and it's really hard to get to the inner core. Right. But sometimes, for example, a lightning strike, because the coconut tree is very tall, it juts out from everything else that's around it. Some grow, for example, the native coconut can grow up to 20, 30 feet, um, as high as a, a three-story building. So it does stand out and it can from time to time be struck by lightning and that will damage the fruit and in that case you might find that microbes can get in and um, the water would then not be suitable for drinking but most cases it's hermetically sealed sealed so how we get at the water as you can see the vendor chopped away with the machete machete chopped away and then if you look at this one so this is the meat we call this the jelly meat on the inside this one was almost mature so, so it was well on its way to becoming a dry coconut you can see it's harder and what they do is when they chop the coconut they we call this a spoon so they'll chop away a part of the coconut like that that you can use to scoop so you just wipe it along the where it was chopped right just wipe it along and you open it now this one has what we call a soft meat so this one you can scoop it with the spoon see that and you have the soft meat that's in jelly mm. it's very sweet very soft This one now would be much harder for you to use this. You can, but it's very tough. So what you might have to do, you can use it, right? So I'm kind of prying away. Well, this, this one was almost a mature, fully mature coconut. So it, then you'd now have to use an actual spoon or a knife and you would dig into it and scoop that out, right? So, you can use a spoon and scoop it out, just like that. And then you can blend it, put it in your smoothies, put it in whatever dish calls for coconut. So, they would use the machete and husk away and then remove the top like was done for this so you can see the hole that was created so this was the jelly so you can see that hole and you just turn it to your head right <laughs> turn it to your head and drink that coconut water or if you want to play like your stush you can ask for a straw or you can just pour it out into a glass like this one coconut water is very sweet so 
don't confuse it with the coconut milk the coconut milk is that white creamy substance that you get when you use the dry coconut or the almost fully mature coconut like this one and this is full of coconut fat but it's very healthy fat and you would blend it or what some people do they grate the hard coconut very mature coconut they grate it mix that with water and strain it off that's coconut milk it's very thick very creamy very nutritious and it adds this unique delicious taste flavor to to um to your foods whether you're making coconut um, cakes confectionery pina colada whatever it is the coconut we all know it has a unique taste that it adds to dishes or to juices the coconut water now is the water that we get from the young or the green jelly coconut now the coconut water is um is about 94 or 95 percent water it has a little bit of fat the coconut milk has much more fat and maybe about 50 50 50 in terms of water and nutrient other nutrient content the coconut water has a good amount of protein it has lots of vitamin c magnesium manganese potassium sodium and calcium and many of these are electrolytes which they they um keep us hydrated and they keep our our bodies our cells functioning properly so the coconut water is an excellent hydrator and replenish replenishes the electrolytes in our bodies which if they start to become depleted you become sluggish you become you, you lose your energy and eventually you will not be able to function the coconut water is a natural diuretic it will in in the, the, the sense that it, it hydrates while it hydrates it also helps the kidneys to regulate the water content so just to, to keep just enough water in the body that it needs so it's diuretic in that sense and the coconut water is full of antioxidants and the antioxidants as you know help to control the action of free radicals in the body they help to protect the cells from the damage that can be done by free radicals in the body All right, so it's very hydrating very refreshing and also very cleansing and protective the coconut water has been found to lower blood sugar levels and so it is very helpful with diabetes it helps to prevent kidney stones because it dissolves the oxalates the crystals that are formed which become kidney stones um, coconut water helps to regulate the blood pressure it is very useful in cardiovascular conditions and so it's definitely something that you should add to your diet as much as you can right in jamaica we have a little song named coconut woman coconut woman is calling out every day you can hear her shout and she said get your coconut water it's good for your daughter so this is a song that we we will sing growing up right and it tells about the wonders of the coconut so let me sing it for you don't laugh <laughs> all right so it says coconut woman is calling out and every day you can hear our show 
coconut woman is calling out and every day you can hear her shout get your coconut water coconut a good for your daughter coconut coca got a lot of iron coconut make you strong like a lion coconut that's just one verse you can go look it up and get the real lyrics and the real tune because you know me out of tune but it's a song that you know growing up we love it we are island islanders we are island people we are tropical people we love our coconuts right we love our coconuts so the myth is true the coconut does represent us it symbolizes our way of life as islanders all right so if you would like to support the channel you can go on over to patreon just follow the link below in the description and become a supporter if you have not yet um, subscribed now would be an excellent time for you to do so until next time this is nandy you can help me sing the coconut song as we wrap this up so let's go coconut woman is calling out and every day you can hear our show coconut woman is calling out and every day you can hear our show get your coconut water coconut a good for your daughter coconut coco got a lot of iron coconut make you strong like a lion coconut all right so bye guys see you later